Los Angeles. The Tom Likas Show. Excellent. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. Not a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. I got a toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it at 1 800 500 Talk. The Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by The Girl Next Door. It's in theaters tomorrow. The Girl Next Door providing $500 in cash to a random caller that makes it on the air this hour. It's $500 in cash. From The Girl Next Door, The Ultimate Guy Fantasy, starring Alicia Cuthbert from 24. In theaters tomorrow. Here we are. It's Like Us 101, the ongoing on air adult education course. It teaches men how to get more tail for less money. More importantly, we teach women how men think. Toll free at 1 800 5800 TOP. It's 1 800 5800 866 Mario on the Tom Like Us show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mario. Long time, first time. Thank you. I just want to thank you. I've been listening to you since I was 17. I'm 19, 19 years old right now. I hope you've learned something. Yes, I have. It's great. When I was a senior, I told my girlfriend as soon as I started listening to you, and I was trying to get laid as much as possible. Right. And right now, I'm in a pretty tight situation right now. First of all, I just want to thank you for everything. Wait, you're 21? No, I'm 19. Oh, you're 19. Yeah, I'm dating a girl that's... She's 21. 21. Right and and you, 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 is she your girlfriend? Uh, well, we're not physically my girlfriend. We're just seeing each other. I'm just... So you're 21. seeing other people, too? I'm I'm in that process right now. So you're seeing various people. Uh, I could say around four girls right now. Okay. But I, most of the time I I'm going to school with her, so I see her most of the time. Why? But well, she's pretty. She's fine. Uh, she's nice to hang out with. We done it a couple of times already, but then all of a sudden she just stopped. And she I stopped more... altogether. No, it's just that one girl, the 21 year old. She stopped having sex with you. She stopped. Yeah. And I need it more than once a week. Oh, so well, did she stop or does she give it to you once a week? No, she gives it to me now once a week before it was. And why did she cut it down to once a week? I have no idea. Well, uh, uh, did you talk to her about it? I tried to throw it out to her. Well, once what do you mean you try to throw it out to her? Pal, what have you learned from this show? I Don't you I have any don't... balls? Yes, I do. And well, why aren't you using them? I'm talking to two girls right now, and I'm thinking of just... Going after them, see what they have. Well, I would go. I'd go after as many girls as you can fit into the schedule. All right. And I would not be spending time with women who don't put out. All right. Why do you do that? If she uh, only puts out once a week, that's the night you see her. All right. That's it. Okay. No movies, no dinners, no drinks, no going out to see uh, the Lion King or Cats or Enrique Iglesias or anything. You, you, you have sex with her, and that's the one night you see her. All right. And do you understand? You you do not appear as her boyfriend other nights of the week. Okay, no problem. It's that simple. I'm gonna take that into consideration. Well, but but in but in addition to that, you need to be able to say to women, "Hey, what's the deal? Once a week? Are you dating other guys? Well, what? Yeah. Why once I, a week? I was, plan- I was planning. I was thinking about doing that, but, but what, why, why were you thinking about doing it? You know, thinking about doing something is useless. You have to yeah. do it. All right. I'm going to do that tonight. And then uh, just start seeing other chicks. That's it. Simple. Yeah. But you uh, know what? A chick that's not putting out, you don't be taking her out to the movies and crap like that. Yeah. And you've been doing that, right? We go out once in a while when I have time. When I'm why? At, when I don't have to... Well, if you're not having sex, why are you taking her out? I don't know. No, well, then, then stop doing it. All right. All right. All right, Tom. Just want to thank you for everything. I hope I helped you. And how about those next door five hundred dollars? Calling since five thirty. You've been calling since five thirty. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I'll give you the money because you did ask for it. You did notice that we did the promo for the girl next door, and uh, so I'll give it to you for God's sake. So that's it. We're not giving away any more this hour. That's it. He took the money last hour. Nobody asked for the money. This hour, somebody got greedy right out of the chute. 1-800-5800 one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Tim on Lycus 101. Hello. Professor, how are you this afternoon? Doing great. Good, Dad. Good to know. Listen, I have kind of an unusual situation. I'm 42, and I've been married 
for uh, almost 20 years. December will be 20 years. Right. So I broke a lot of Lycus 101 rules, I think, before there was a Lycus 101. And my question revolves that I have a – my older son is uh, almost 19 and is going to be going into the Navy. Mm-hmm. And he's already talking about he wants to try to find a girl when he's overseas and get married because he's going to be stationed in uh, Japan. And I'm just like at a total loss at how to convince him that, you know, he's got to wait. He's got to wait because he keeps throwing it back to me that, hey, you know, Dad, you and Mom got married early and you've been together and everything's worked out. So Well, well, well then the only way you're going to stop him is by being frank with him about what you missed out on. And, you know, and I, and I do that, Tom. I mean, I've told him, you know, everything. Um, you know, I, it's uh, not, you know, it has nothing to do with his mom. I love her. And, you know, we really do have a pretty good marriage. But it wasn't always good. We struggled a lot early. And, uh, you know, your, your topic the other day about staying together for the kids, you know, there's there's a little bit of that that gets involved well, in it. You need to be honest with them about that. Yeah. You know, and it's it's tough because I've always had a good relationship. I mean, even his friends talk about, you know, how cool his dad is and how he's, he, you know, they, they envy that he can talk so frankly. But I just can't get that, you know, that's it. what I've told him. He really gets it. He really understands it. I mean, I tell him to listen to you all the time. and. Yeah. You know, um, and I and I think he does. You know, I don't know how how religious he does. I, I tell him, man, if, if you don't listen the other day, make sure you listen on Thursdays because you're going to hear all kinds of stories from all kinds of young guys that are just blowing it. You know, and try to learn from their mistakes. But you know, I'm just I'm at a loss, Tom. I really am just I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, I uh, completely understand, Tim. And uh, like I say, you got to be really honest with him. You got to be honest with him. If if you stayed together for him, if you missed out on certain things, if you feel regrets today about things you didn't get, you know you need to be your boy's best friend and tell him. God, I'll tell you, it's it's tough. I mean, his mom's gorgeous, and you know, I mean, that's why I hooked with her early. I mean, she's she's a beautiful woman, yeah. and uh, you know, I I I just look at him sometimes and. Uh, you know, he's he's kind of naive at that. You know, I mean, he had this chick that he was... Well, with. because he doesn't know the real truth about what went on with you and your wife. Well, he had this chick that there was, you know, like a, a couple of years ago that was a real trailer queen. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, we, we live in a very nice part of Reno. I mean, we're up on the hill. And, you know, our house is about $350,000. I mean, we, we have a nice lifestyle. And this chick was just looking for a ticket. You know what I mean, Tom? I mean, just looking for it. And I kept asking him, you, are you, you having sex? Are you having sex? Oh, yeah, using a condom? Well, yeah, most of the time. And I'm like, dude, are you stupid? Yeah. You know, do you want to ruin your whole life? Because you're, you're playing Russian roulette with a loaded pistol, Absolutely. my Absolutely. And then he's going to pay for it for the rest of his life. And, and I told him, I said, you know, what, Ryan, you're going to pay for it. I'm not paying for it because that's not my responsibility. And he's how old again? He's, he's almost 19, Tom. Uh-huh. You know, and, and he's, uh, he goes, he leaves for the Navy at the end of June. He's going in as an air crew rescue. Those center. boy, and by the way, those boys are always marked men because uh, the, God. the, the oh, government he, will be happy to don your pay, Jack, for any bitch who makes a claim. Uh, you know, he's a stud, Tom. I mean, the kids, he, you know, he's 5'11". He weighs about 185 pounds. He's a rock. You know, good-looking blonde hair. He's just that's instead of these chicks are just going to fall all over him. I mean, he's just, he's a nice kid. He's too nice a kid. Yes. God, it's just, I, I'm fearful for him, Tom. I tell you, if you got any mojo out there, throw it at him, you know? Well, you, you have him call me anytime. I'll straighten him up. I will be, Tom. Thank you for your time and blow me up. Buddy. Here you go, Tim. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Like Us 101. I am your professor, Carlos. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Carlos. Hey, I got the situation here. I always listen to your advice, and I've been trying to apply some of the rules, you know, not picking up my phone on the weekends and stuff. And yeah. I told this girl, I live 45 miles from her. She lives in San Fernando Valley. Yeah. And she's a really good-looking girl. Thing is, I've known her for two and a half years or so. I don't want to be the friend guy anymore, you know. It was, it, it, anymore? I, well, I kind of got in that routine you told me to get away from, like always seeing her at night. I don't call her. I call her maybe once a week. But now the thing is, how do I how do I reel her in? I got no problems with girls over here in Orange County, but do you is, understand that once you became a friend, that's it, it's done, and no way back. No, that's why I tell you, don't make friends with chicks. Yeah, I made a mistake, but see now I got her like coming. She wants to come down here because I told her next time we see each other, you're coming over here. And she's like, oh, I promise and promise, and so I don't know. I mean, I still have some hope for her, but the thing is, there is no hope. I know my friends say the same thing. I'm about to, like... There's no hope. 
your mistake was becoming her gay friend, and that's what you did. Oh, I'm not gay, Tom. No, but you became like her gay friend. Oh, really? That's what you did. The minute you let some broad blab on about her problems or the guy she's dating or whatever, you're you're queer eye for the straight guy. You are the Fab Five. You can't. You de- I don't give a crap what any chick is going through with her boyfriend. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know. It's not my problem. Yeah, you're right. My That's attitude is call your gay best friend on the phone and tell him. So should I just stop talking to her then, huh? Yeah, done. All right, well, I'll go ahead and do that then because you know what? 45 miles to go up there and be a friend? Forget it. That's, that's what I said. That's why I told myself I'm stopping that, you know? It's too but never, you know, but never start it. Well, I've been with her before, but that's the thing. It just never got past to, like, having sex-wise, you know? You mean you didn't have sex with her? No. Well, then, if you never had sex with her, you never had sex with her. So exactly. then if you haven't had sex with her, you don't sit and listen to her blab on on the telephone. Yeah. You don't true. care. Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't I don't concern myself anymore with her. I just want to, like, get that. But you are concerned. You're concerned about getting laid, but with somebody who you've allowed to believe is her hairdresser. Yeah, I guess so. You know, she believes you're like the hairdresser. She can tell you anything. It's so great. I can tell you anything. You know what? If you're banging a chick, she doesn't tell you anything. I know, and that's what I'm saying. Over here, it's like so easy to get Chicks you bang lie to you about everything. Do you understand? That's how it works. And I've noticed... Like, Do you know that? Can I tell you something? Chicks, chicks who are banging you have too much of an emotional investment in you. They're afraid of bruising your ego. They're afraid you're going to get mad at them. And so they lie constantly about everything. They lie about who their male friends are, whether they date other people. They lie about how much money they spend or where, who they went away for the weekend with. They lie about everything. When a chick tells you everything, you're screwed. Yeah. You want a chick who lies about what she does the rest of the time. Yeah, because I've noticed like the, the less that I care about girls, they're all over my nuts. But- right. Oh, you, you just noticed that. Well, we noticed that a long time ago. And announce that on the air. <laughs> yeah. So you well, got you got to stop listening to broads. Stop it. The minute you listen to them blab, you're on the friend list. There's no coming off the friend list. Yeah, that's the problem, so. You ever get on the junk mail list for like Valpac or one of those things? Once you get on that list, you're never getting off. The yeah. friend list. It's it's like a mailing list. You can't you, you write in, you say, Please take me off the list and they never do. That's the friend list. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, I, I completely understand. I, I hear you. But you did it. I, I know. And that's the thing. I, at first, it was pretty good. But then I went for the Marines, took off, and then I came back. And now it's And while like, you were in the Marines, she got banged by ten other guys. I, I bet you not. Huh? I guarantee it. So when you come back, now she's a little standoffish. Oh, it's so great. You're here. I, I, I can talk to you now. And uh, I'll bet she dates other guys. Has she told you about any of them? No, she doesn't go out. She stays home all the time. That's what she tells you. She's 45 miles away, and you can't check on her. Uh, that's for sure. Um, how, would you, how would you ever no, I know? I don't really care to check on her because I'm doing my own thing out here, too. Cause you're all right, sense. but the point is, yeah. so she, oh, I'm just sitting here. I'm just at home all the time. If she's home all the time, why doesn't she ask you to come over and bang the crap out of her? Well, that's the thing. She lives with her parents. For me, I feel like there's no point to go over to her. Why doesn't house. she drive down to Orange County and bang the crap out of you? That's what I was getting at because she's now saying, oh, I promised to go out. And I said, hey, don't promise. You know, just if you can't come out here because no. promises don't, you know. A load. She's giving you a load. That's what I think. I tell my friends, well, then, tell me, don't talk to that girl anymore. But, well, but you, look, that. your friends know you better than I do, and they're telling you the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's time to start doing it. That's right, Tom. All right, Carlos. Good luck. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. My girlfriend's an habitual listener. She loves your show. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wonder if she's starting to get a little worried about me listening to you as well. Why is that? You know, the stuff that you teach. She says all the guys that listen to your stuff are ass. Yes, we are. Thank you. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. On Tom. At 1 800 5800 Tom, it's Likas 101. And I'm Likas 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Ann. So, um, how are you? Do you care, darling? Yes, I do care, Tom. I'm doing great. <laughs> so, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, I am 31. I got married very young. I got married at 18. I've been married 13 years. I am in the middle of a divorce. Um, and I just wanted to know if your advice for men is the same as women. 
What what advice would you give me now that I'm going to be a single woman again? Well, I don't know. Uh, what do you look like? Um, in your standards, Tom, I'm probably a two or a three, but I've had lots of men that have called me a ten. I'm very sexy, um, a the, luxurious woman. So so fat. I'm not fat. You're not fat. How tall uh, are you? How do they say that? I'm big boned. Oh no, no, dear, 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 stop I'm right there. I'm very sexy, Tom. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. So, Stop not it. all men like skinny Barbie types, Tom. Well, then, then do you know more than I do. So why are you calling me for advice if you know so much? Because I haven't been dating, and so I just needed some advice. If you give the same advice to single women as you do to single well, women. Well, I, what? I, as far as what? As far as dating, whether or not to bring them to your house. Um, yeah, I got to so if for anybody who wants to get laid, that's good advice. And I am going to be a single mom, Tom, and I know how you feel about single moms. What do you mean you're going to be a single mom? You you have a child now and you're getting have, divorced or you're I pregnant? Have three, no, I have three children. Three children. Well, 12, 9, and 6. So you have three children and you're how tall? I'm 5'6". And you weigh how much? I'm 215. 215. Dear, that's not big bone. But, but you have Tom, very fat saying, bones. Hey, you know what? I've, I haven't had any trouble um, getting compliments and getting, getting compliments looks. is one so, thing, you know. <laughs> getting looks and I, I have no no problem at all saying that I'm. Then why do you need my advice? Home. You have no problems no. at all. But what do I do when I find a guy and he wants to come back to the house and and I do make a a good living for being on my own. So. I well, I would certainly I recommend to anybody try. It's it's a war out there. And you want to go to their house if you can. You don't want them coming to your house because you want to decide when you don't want to see them anymore. Right. So I was just curious if you gave the same advice to single women as you do. Well, you've asked the same question four times, and I answered it three times previously. Okay. The answer is if you want to get laid, yes, if that's what you want. Okay. Is that what you want? Oh, yeah. Is that all you want? That's all I want. I can support my own kids. I don't need a. I've had a husband for 13 years. I don't need another one. Um, so. so then, if getting laid, these are good. These are good rules. Uh, um, you know, don't uh, don't bring anybody to your place. Don't stay overnight. Don't let them stay overnight. If they do get to your place, don't let them stay overnight. Uh huh. Make sure they leave. Okay. If all you want is to get laid. The minute okay. people sleep next to you with their arms around you, they start getting ideas. The minute they wake up in the morning and they expect you to make breakfast for them, or they oh, make no, breakfast, I'm, I'm or or <laughs> or they make breakfast for you, uh-huh. same thing. So I can't I can't have someone do for me for a while. That that leads them on. That le- leads them to believe you love them. Hmm. No, nope, I don't want that. Well, then don't don't do it. Y'all want go to IHOP. You're in Seattle. Go to the 13 Coins. But definitely don't let a guy make breakfast for you. He's going to take it seriously. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. Yes, it is. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by the girl next door in theaters tomorrow. The girl next door providing $500 in cash to a random caller in selected hours all this week. That's $500 in cash from the girl next door, the ultimate guy fantasy. Starring Alicia Cuthbert from 24. Theaters tomorrow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101, I am your professor. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Okay. Uh, I've wanted to ask you this question for a while, but... um, I've been dating this girl for like the last three years, and uh, she does pretty much anything for me, cooks, cleans. Uh, By the way, I might add you're 23. Yeah. And uh, you've been dating her since you were 20? Um, you said three years. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. Three yeah, years. all right. So you, you started dating her too young for yeah. a serious relationship. Oh, well, we took like an eight eight month break. And because uh, I I thought I didn't want to be with her anymore. But even now you're still too young. But go ahead. Yeah, definitely. Um. So I mean I, I'm just not happy with her. I mean she does everything. She she's hot. She she does everything for me. It's just I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I'm just can't can't seem to find you know be happy with her for some reason. And uh, you're not happy with her. 
No, I'm not. I mean, she she does basically everything that I would want like a girl to do. What 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 is it you're not happy about? I just I don't know. I'm like maybe just too young to have a girlfriend. Yeah, and she wants to. She like sleeps over every night and like it's every night. Well, like five days a week. Why? I don't know. I Why do you allow it? Well, I asked her for some space, and she, like, uh, freaked out and started crying and stuff. So then I pushed out, and I was like, oh. It's yeah, because most of the time when guys ask for space or chicks ask for space, they're actually for space to have sex with other people. But you never should have let it get to that point. Why did you let that happen? It was just a slow process. No, no. It's, no well, you know what? When the, the first time they're at your house five days in a row, that's when you stop it. Yeah. You don't let it keep going. Yeah. You did. Definitely. So what's your question? I just, I don't know what to do. I mean, I feel like, am I being too picky here or? No, you're too young to have a girlfriend and you're too young to have a girl living at your house. Yeah. I, it's like I know that deep down inside I'm just too pussy to break up with her. Meow. Well, I know. I mean, I'm admitting it, but. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. But you, now you have to deal with it. This is you. Do you believe you're playing the song? It's for you. Thanks. I mean, why are you allowing this to happen? That's the reason. Yeah. Why don't you just simply tell her? I mean, because she's like everything I would want a girl. I just don't want her for some reason. Well, that you don't have to explain it. You don't. You have a very good excuse. You are too young to have a girlfriend. You don't want to live with another person. And she has her place and you have your place. And that's the way you'd like to keep it. She lives with her parents. All right, fine. Yeah. All right. Well, and by the way, she's 21. She still lives with her parents. What's her problem? Uh, she goes to school, and I don't know. She's got, like, the downstairs to herself. But, yeah, that that's another problem I've had is that, like, every time I go to her house, it's like going to her parents' house. I feel like I'm in high school. Why Why isn't she, like, an adult and going out to find her own place? Because she can stay with you. That's why. You're yeah. part of the reason. Yeah. In fact, uh, I'd be willing to bet the five days she stays with you are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, definitely Sunday. Yeah, because yeah, she has to go to school and she can stay at your place. Yeah, you probably live closer to school than she does. Well, she she goes to BCC. I live like a minute away from. <laughs> I'm shocked. So she stays at your place because it's more convenient to school. Yeah. Yeah. Also, and you're, and you're a goddamn doormat. You're just like. Also, what? I want to hear the rest of this. Well, the. The sex has kind of gone downhill a little. I'll bet it has. A little, huh? Or well, a lot. Like once a week, maybe. Why are you allowing that? I don't know. I just try and, like, put a block out of my mind and just go to work every Why? day. Why? You're yeah, 23. You, you, got, you got hormones coursing through your veins. What are you doing? Yeah, there's a lot of hot old chicks at my work, too. Well, you tell her the night she stays at your house are the nights you're going to have sex. Yeah. You are not a, a hotel. Well, she's like an emotional basket case. and I, Then and tell I, her you're not going to see her at all anymore. Yeah. You pussy. You're right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not denying it. Are your Definitely. parents still together? No. I'm of course they're not. Um, my dad died when I was 16. Yeah, well, if your dad was here today, he'd kick your ass. I know he would. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm kicking your ass on his behalf. You tell her it's over. I don't want to, like, go, like, screw all the chicks in town. I just want to, like, date a couple of different... I couple. Tell her it's over. Yeah. Over. All right. We'll call her right now. We'll get this done with. Nah, she's in class. We could, but... What? So we could, but she's in class. Uh-huh. All right, well, when are you going to end this? There's a really big one next week at her friend's house, so maybe in like a week. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 you pussy. No, no, now is the time. 
That way she can go to the party and meet somebody else. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well. You're going to do it tonight. Tried to do it last night, but she like. No, you're going to do it. There is no trying to do it. This is your house. Yeah. You are going to do it tonight. All right. I don't believe you. I know you don't. You always say that. Yeah, because you know what? When I say I don't believe it, I'm usually right. Yes, you are. Yeah, so you're not going to do it tonight, are you? Are you? Probably not. Yeah. You're a complete pussy. Yes. You need your dad more than ever now. I'll tell you what. See, that's why I'm a pussy. Cause you... I know why you're a pussy. You bugged out on me when I was 15. Yeah, well, pussy. I know. And so now your mother raised you the rest of the way, and this is what we get. A, an indecisive wimp who can't make a decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even when I'm giving you, I'm giving you the key right here. I'm telling you what what you need to do. You'll say, I don't know, I don't know what to do. He's a basket case. You're a goddamn basket case. A man steps up to the plate and makes a goddamn decision. He doesn't sit there quivering like Don Knotts on the Andy Griffith show. Oh, Andy, I don't know. And he, he doesn't sit there quivering, for God's sake. I just, when she starts crying, I don't know what to Who do. Who cares? That's her problem. She's an emotional, crazy bitch. Get her out of your life. I just feel bad, like, when she's sitting there Boo crying. Boo-hoo-hoo. You know when I would feel bad when I'm sitting there and I'm not getting any sex? Yeah. I'm next to a chick in my bed and she won't have sex with me. Now, that's sad. Yeah, it is. You're 23 and you can't get laid. You're pathetic. Pussy. Well, I basically just called up so you could beat me up like this to really convince me because I knew you were going to do it to me. So. Yeah, well, you know what? You you know what? You need a real dad. That's what you need. But even I'm not enough. You need a man who's going to kick your ass. I know I do. So. Yeah. So, so why don't you just get some balls, summon up some goddamn courage? All right, well... I'm going to do it, and I'm going to call you after and let you know how it goes. No, I'm not going to let you off that easy. Dean's going to get your phone number. We're going to call you. All right, that's fine. And we're going to see what you did. Okay. And if you didn't do it, next time, you're going to give Dean her number, and we're going to do it on the air. So <laughs> I recommend you do it on your own. Otherwise, we're going to embarrass the crap out of you, and we're going to do it right here on the air. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll see how fine it is when you get off the air. Big man on the air. Off the air, we'll see what a big man you are. When Dean is there taking down phone numbers and area codes, we'll see how big how big a man you are. <laughs> By the way, I saw that movie. It's pretty sweet. Which part of the re Part of the reason why, I, which kind of made me question my relationship. Which movie is that? The Girl Next Door. The Girl Next Door. You saw it already? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take preview. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you give that some thought, young man. Tom. 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 One. Eight hundred. Five. Eight hundred. Tom. 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 Oh, man, it is good to hear your voice. Yes, I know. The Tom Like You Show. It's the Tom Like You Show. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. Like Us 101. I am your professor, Gabriel. Hello. Hi, Tom. I just had a question about 101. You say no virgins, no dating virgins. Why is that? Because they stick like glue. You can't get rid of them. They never use birth control. Yeah, but you can condition them to do whatever you tell them to do because they're a clean slate. Yeah, but they're a clean slate that can get pregnant. Yeah. But and they're a clean slate that once you get tired of them, you'll never get rid of them. Yeah, but as long as you don't tell them where you live or your last name, you're safe, right? 
Well, put it this way. They better not get your license plate number or your fingerprint or your DNA evidence. Oh, yeah, absolutely nothing. But it's like you're God to them. You know, after yeah, you you're God to them, but if you become pregnant, they want to have your baby. That's how yeah. they are. They don't have abortions. Yeah. Virgins, when you get them pregnant, they see some significance in it. And they will chase you. They will hound you till the end of time. But as long as they don't know where you live, they can't find you. And they, they Guess have... what? Well, you know, I've had the misfortune, and of course, I'm a public figure, but I've had the misfortune of I, I've had sex with three virgins that I know of. Mm-hmm. And they're all still out there. They all still write to me. Two of the three are married. Right? They still want to see me. Look at the loyalty. Yeah, look at the loyalty. But you know what? I'm so lucky I didn't knock any of these chicks up because if they stick like glue for that, I'm telling you, they see significance in the fact that I'm the first one to penetrate. Yeah, and uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. It seems to be all about being in control because my dad told me that he told me, watch out, son. They're all on their own side before he died, you know. And that seems to be coming true. Well, you know, I you know I would never recommend that guys go out with virgins. That's that's dangerous. Michelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Michelle. Got a question. Yes. Been married for four years, and want to know what you think about me banging somebody else. I think it's a bad idea. You do. Sure, I do. I mean, why don't you just end your marriage? Why are you staying with your husband? Because I love him. No, you don't. If you want to have sex with other people, it's not because you love him. No, because I'm not satisfied. Well, have you told him you're not satisfied? You'll tell him I love you very much, but since you can't satisfy me, I need to be with people who can satisfy me. And that's it. And that's it. So you don't think that me getting some on the side is okay? I don't think it's a good idea. What happens if he catches you? Well, he won't catch me. Oh, yeah, dear. <laughs> you can't, don't try to play a player here, okay? <laughs> dear, I was married, I was living with people, I've done it, and I've gotten caught. And just like you, I thought I'd never get caught, but I did. Everybody thinks they won't get caught. One day, you went to the wrong website, you uh, left the wrong email in your computer, or one day you left the wrong uh, hotel key in the trunk of your car, or whatever. I'm telling you, I've been there. All right, so I just need to tell him that's it. Right, that's it. And, And by the way, don't be so disingenuous. You have kids I see here on the screen, so you want him to keep coming home, being with the kids, paying the bills like he does now. Right. And you want to get sex on the side. It is not because you love him that you're staying with him. It's because you want him to be there for the kids and pay your bills. Don't be dishonest with me. I know how no, women think. No, I do love that is exactly, him. Yeah, you love him. I do. You love the fact that he's there with your kids and paying the bills. And it's a lot easier than having to be a single mom out there by yourself, trying to, money, trying to pay for everything. So you're taking the easy way out. Don't don't lie to me. I know I know what you're all about. I know what every woman is all about, and that's what you're all about. All right, right I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to tell him. You tell him. You tell him that he doesn't get it done for you anymore, and that's it. You he was going to work on it. It isn't getting any better. You're not getting any younger. That's it. Okay. All right. Don't be okay. don't be dishonest. You know what? You'll be a lot happier, even though it's going to be tough for you to be on your own as a single mom. You're going to be a lot happier not having to hide and live a double life. Believe me, I've done it. I know what right. it's like. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. And you do, and you get caught. You say you won't, but you do. Yeah, I guess. I mean, eventually you would. Well, Sooner or later. Right. Well, then uh, what do you tell me you won't get caught for? I only, well, I, mean, I only do it once. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then you get away with it and you do it twice. Right. Then you get away with yeah. it and you do it four times. Right. Right? Yeah, that's true. All right. All right, Tom, thanks. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I make six figures, and I'm a big guy, but I tell you, when they see the wad, they're all over me. Which wad is that? It's the cash wad. How well hung is your wallet? It's very well hung. It's the Tom Likas Show.